Welcome back to PhD TV, and today we'll be going over the best whiskeys you can find for under $20. All right, so starting off, we're gonna go with Very Old Barton. Now, if you're not familiar with Very Old Barton, you can Google it, and I'm gonna bet that most places will say that is gonna be one of the best cheap bourbons you can find. Now, when I first saw it, I thought it looked cheap. In fact, my old employer, he actually let me have a little bit of it one time at his house, and it was great. I was impressed, and I was like, okay, this tastes really freaking good. How much does it cost for a fifth? $12. This, this is a $12 bourbon. That is fantastic, that is delicious. Honestly, that, is my go-to if you want to fool somebody bourbon that's my bourbon i go to to fool people think i might have something better than what it is so number one very old barton next up we're going into benchmark now benchmark is a really now this one's just more fun it's very freaking smooth it's very good the flavor profile is incredible it's really tasty all of the above i don't know how else to put it it's just delicious and it's from buffalo trace now if you know buffalo trace you know that at their distillery from what the tour guide told me when i went on their tour, Buffalo Trace Distillery only ever tries to make Buffalo Trace. They don't try to make too many flankers on purpose. They only ever try to specifically make Buffalo Trace. Now, say if their tasters have a barrel and they say that's just not to standard, the Buffalo Trace standard, they will repackage it and rebottle it into a different branch of their business. Benchmark is one of them. In fact, if you look at the very bottom of that label, you will see that it says it is from Buffalo Trace. So with that being said, you are basically drinking Buffalo Buffalo Trace bourbon without it being quite there yet. You're essentially drinking one that didn't hit the 100 percentile mark of being the best Buffalo Trace bourbon. You're drinking that 95 to 90 percent mark of it just didn't make it. And you can find a half gallon right at $20, but I know for a fact you can find a fifth ten. It's dirt cheap, but for dirt cheap it is fantastic. It is good. It gets the job done. Now I will not say it is the best bourbon in the world, or that it's even anywhere close, but it is a great alternative, especially if you like that Buffalo Buffalo Trace vibe, or if you just want something that is very reminiscent of Buffalo Trace to begin with. Long story short, number two, Benchmark. Now, these last few brands, they're going to be pretty recognizable, such as Jim Beam. Jim Beam, tried and true, literally probably the most mass-produced Kentucky bourbon there is. I may be wrong on that, but I'm going to say I've seen that probably being the most mass-produced Kentucky bourbon, similar to how Jack Daniels is probably Tennessee's most produced whiskey from Tennessee. But everyone knows Jim Beam, and you can get that fifth for $16. End of story, very inoffensive, and everyone who likes bourbon even though they'll say Jim Beam might be cheap it might not be the best it may not be this it may not be that whatever their case is everyone can drink Jim Beam and be just fine and live to talk about the next day the flavor is not bad it's beautiful in color and it's a classic in its own right and if you ever just want to mix it with something like Coker's or put it in like an old-fashioned you're not gonna be you know mixing anything super crazy nothing super expensive but also nothing of super cheap quality cheap price pretty decent quality and next up is four roses now of all all these in my opinion I'm gonna say this one has the most burn out of any of the other options not to say it's a bad burn but it has the most heat so if you do like a bourbon that is has that heat something that is very good something that does have that full flavored profile something that sits on your palate with real heavy caramel and flavor profilings four roses is your go-to for a $20 fifth and debatably I would say this will be the closest thing to a craft bourbon on this list as the other ones are now of course four roses is going to be more mass produced than the other ones as well well, the granted Four Roses is just as mass produced as the other ones as well. That's not to say that the mass produced flavoring or the overall vibe that they just were just putting bourbon out just to put it out. You can definitely tell they stuck to the artistic merits of what it means to make Four Roses. So with that being said, a $20 fifth of Four Roses gets the job done just fine. And lastly, Rebel Yell. Now Rebel Yell, I went on a, I went on a whim with. At first, I didn't know what to think of it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't the best. But for $15 a fifth, and I want to say $25 if we're going to go over that $20 you know, bump that we're trying to keep under for this one video, you can get a half gallon. But for under $20, you can get a fifth of something that is fantastic, is a multi-award winning whiskey, and for a bourbon, it is a different type of bourbon. It doesn't taste like the traditional bourbon, but it doesn't taste like it's too far-fetched from something that's not bourbon if you're someone who strictly likes bourbon. And Rebel Yell, I believe, is one of the best 
sipping on ice whiskeys you can probably find, while also being one that is fantastic for in general mixing. Say if you have someone come over to your house and you, they ask for a mixed drink, you want to make them a whiskey and coke or something, and you don't want to use your $70, $80 whiskey, use Rebel Yell. This is a fantastic go-to. And since it doesn't taste like a traditional bourbon, it will give it a flair that they may find really good. You'll have a little different character with Rebel Yell, therefore it makes the list, especially since it's under $20 and it is fantastic. And that's my list. If you like this list, please like and subscribe down below. And please check out some of my other videos. Do it now, or you can do it later. It's up to you, you do you, and I'll see you next time.